We'll come back to our interview with Dr. Maxwell C. King. Uh, again, it's, of course, it's a pleasure to have you here in pursuing the, your interest in the performing arts, and I think everybody's interest, uh, the Coco Village Playhouse is also. Well, that, that's an interesting story. Um, we had hired uh, Stacy Hawkins, now Stacy Hawkins Smith, and she had done some productions for the, what's now the, the Simpkins Center. And the city of Cocoa had an old theater that had been closed for over 20 years. It was a movie theater. And they came to me one day and I talked to them and uh, I agreed to give them a dollar for the college taking over the theater for 99 years. And then of course we had to restore it. And then Stacy is now down there doing a great job of bringing local performance mm -hmm. to the community. I'm amazed, I go to every show and uh, they have young people, middle-aged people, and senior citizens all mm -hmm. performing and doing a great job, and it's, uh, it's great there. One other thing I must add, uh, since I word got out about me, me having an interest in the performing arts, the, my people in my old hometown of Fort Pierce had a theater there called the Sunrise Theater, and they asked me to come down and uh, help them raise money to restore the Sunrise Theater, and which we've done. It's now the Sunrise Theater of, for performing arts in Fort Pierce, and they bring in a lot of great shows there. Mm -hmm. For somebody that never acted in a play, I, uh, my, my background was mostly athletics, and it was kind of fun to, to, to work with the performing arts. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of athletics, one of the things that is interesting to me is you, you were the leading scorer in the state of Florida uh, when you were still in high school. I was in high school. Right? I was a junior in high school. and. Um, in eight games, scored 144 points, which was great. But a, a young fellow out in California named Jackie Jensen, who later became a world-famous baseball player, scored 150 points. But he played in 10 games. I only played in eight games. <laughs> but you lettered in five sports. Yeah, there was. Uh, we had boxing at one point in time, and that, then it was football, baseball, basketball, and track, mm -hmm. and a uh, little bit of boxing. <laughs> now, just out of interest, do you do something now to keep yourself? I, I'm a golfer, fit? and I, I go to the fitness center about three times a week. You do walk in the morning with my wife. Mm -hmm. Got to keep moving. I got to keep busy. Mm -hmm. The worst thing in the world is having nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Well, now that that especially interests me. You, you obviously have been very active since you left the community college as president with your volunteer activities. Uh, and you, it seems to me that you must have had a series of goals that you wanted to accomplish in that time. Well, really, uh, just helping people in the community. The, the organizations I work with, the Boys and Girls Club, they're, mm -hmm. they help a lot of needy kids throughout the area. The Salvation Army helps a lot of people mm -hmm. at, at all times of the year. The, the Children's Advocacy Society helps a lot of kids that have fam families that got in uh, legal problems and so forth. Mm -hmm. and, and these are all organizations to help young people uh, do better with their lives. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I'm an advocate of that. Yeah, congratulations on your, your work in that area. What about as you go along? Um, you know, you're, you look pretty uh, healthy to me, even though you're 81 years old. Well, I, I jumped out of the airplane when I was 80. Did you? Yeah, uh, my, but my granddaughter and, and one of my sons went ahead of me, so they showed me the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, George, uh, George Bush Sr. did the same thing, but I wasn't following him. I was following my granddaughter. Yeah, good for you. Well, do you have any additional goals? Do you, are you going to continue the way that you well, have just been? keep busy helping the community. Uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's my nature, and mm -hmm. uh, I've got to get up in the morning and put on my tie and go help raise money to yeah, help people. Yeah. <laughs> Always the tie. I was going to wear one today, but I decided not to. Um, well, I'm pleased to hear that you know you uh, have things that you still want to accomplish. I I also you know have things that I'd I'd like to. Uh, uh, without a goal, I it just I'm not motivated. So. Well, I think uh, a lot of people look on retirement as uh, as something they they are dreaming of. But then if, if you're like I am with my personality, mm -hmm. I've got to be kept, kept moving. Mm -hmm. So retiring was not, mm -hmm. uh, doing nothing is not what retirement's all about for me. I, you've got to get out and help people and help yourselves. Absolutely. Well, uh, it's been a pleasure having you here. You're not going to ask me about CCID? The CCID, your interest in international education, I think we could start really quickly. I think we're running out of time, but oh, okay. please. Well, re real quick, uh, an organization that Brevard Community College was a leader in the 
in the world in starting community colleges for international development. And it helps uh, students from colleges all over the world get together and, and study abroad and, uh, and helping set up business relationships and so forth. And mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great organization and mm -hmm. uh, BCC is still a vital member of that organization. Mm -hmm. And the international connection, call it, I think is really very important. Uh, I've got to tell you one quick story when the cameras are still on. Okay. We named uh, an award, the Dr. Werner Koopsch Award. For a, it's given every year to an outstanding citizen of the U.S. that's done a lot to help international understanding because he was so helpful to us. Uh, in fact, uh, he, was, I, he got his honorary doc doctor's degree from us here at Brevard Community College mm -hmm. in the amphitheater one year. Mm -hmm. And he's, he was proud of that honorary degree. And he since he did a lot to help us get this organization started. So we have, he's gone now, but he, uh, he was very helpful in starting the Community College for International Development. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish we had more time to, because uh, this is very interesting. I'm enjoying the conversation. And I think it's a pleasure for all the students in this studio to, to have, uh, the opportunity to hear you live. So uh, maybe we'll do it again. Well, <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you very much. Thank you. And uh, goodbye. Thanks for listening. <laughs>